All right, so this is just a follow through video for the Tender AC11 that I've made a video a couple of months ago, which for me is the best affordable router in 2020. It is a dual band router, which only costs about around 1000 to 1250 pesos. And on that video, people were asking if the Tender AC11 is capable of being a universal repeater. So I'm just going to show you that in this video real quick on how to set up the router as a universal repeater using your Wi-Fi with no any UTP cables. All right, so let's start. We're just going to plug in the router. Now on this setup, I'm not going to use a laptop or a personal computer. I'm going to use uh, the mobile phone. So it's much more convenient for everyone because not all have laptops and personal computers at home. All right. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to the settings. And let's go to the Wi-Fi. We need to connect to the Wi-Fi of this router, which is the Tenda 39BE00. As you can see, it's connected, but without an internet. So we'll just decide to keep it. Then we go to the browser. You can use any browser like Mozilla Firefox or the default browser for any Android or the Safari. But in this setup, I'm just using the Google Chrome app. Now type in 192.168.0.0.0. Then it's going to bring you to the Tenda configuration. Since this router is not new, I've already put a password on it. So I'm just going to put the password. Okay, so once you're in the router, you go to these three bars here and we go to the internet settings. Here you can find the operating mode. So you can set up the router as a router or you can also set it up as a WISP, also a universal repeater. And this is what we're looking for here. And also you can use it as an access point if you want to. As you can see, there is a universal repeater option. We're going to click on that since this is what this video is all about. So I'm going to click on the studio, which is my Wi-Fi here in the room. And we will try to connect to that Wi-Fi so that this router will repeat that signal in the other rooms. Enter the password. You just need to enter the password of your Wi-Fi, then it's going to reboot. You just wait for it. Then after that, it's going to operate as a universal repeater. Now, after the reboot, be sure to go to the settings and go to the Wi-Fi and be sure that you're still connected to the Tender router. As you can see here, I'm still connected here at the Tenda 39BE00, which I've set up as a universal repeater just a while ago. And when we go to the Google Chrome or any browser on your phone, you go to the TendaWiFi.com, then you will be able to see here the internet connection status. So now it's upstream router is my original router here, which name is the studio. And now you can see that the Tender router is now operating as a universal repeater. Now, all you need to do is just change this Wi-Fi name to the same as your original router so that it will connect automatically if you're going upstairs or you're going into the other room where the Tender router's signal is much more stronger in that area. And be sure also to change the Wi-Fi password, same with the original router that you want to repeat the signal. All right, so that's about it. I hope that it's very clear for you on how to set up the, this router into a universal repeater. If you want to buy this router, I've put the link down on the description below. And subscribe if you want to show your support to my channel. And smash the like button down below if this video helped you. Again, thank you for watching. I'm Cleo Buzz, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.